delighted to be with you, ladies and gentlemen. And yes, we will be quite disruptive. <laughs> now, ASCA has been part of the Broadband for Seniors Consortium from the first day to the last day of that program. When we were advised by the Department of Social Services, it was, it was to be replaced by a three-year digital literacy for older Australians program. Now, Good Things Foundation was selected to develop the Be Connected program, and ASCA, like many existing organisations already working to empower seniors through technology, sought to become part of the new program. The dilemma was just what program would best suit the needs we saw across Australia. Which area was in the most need? West Australia, mainly because of the vast distances between uh, between people. <laughs> We do know that one's, from, one's in the very south of West Australia and the other's in the very north of West Australia. <laughs> okay. I'll talk with Jenny. I'll find out what's going to be a good program. Jenny, Jenny will have an idea. Now, where's Jenny? In the USA. It's a quite small herd. After conferring with Jenny, the acronym SWAY, Seniors West Australian Digital Expansion was born. And Jenny knew the very person to help with the project. We now knew the direction we wished to follow, uh, but now to secure the funding. I turned to Jim Parker, known variously as treasurer, acting treasurer, or just plain mentor. And together, and together we put together the submission. Now ASCA applied for a capacity builders grant and set out to plan to manage what we believe was a three-year project. Beginning for one year and according to satisfactory progress, growing on that foundation in additional years. As the first organisation to be granted one of these capacity builders grants, I suppose it should be expected that uh, there would be unexpected challenges as we began our journey. Now, these challenges were resolved and swayed. Seniors West Australian Digital Expansion moved ahead. In those first months, the plan was to build sound foundations for the ongoing project. Jennifer, Jennifer Wilcox, Australia's Director for West Australia, was responsible for the day-to-day -day running of the project, and the ticket was right, the person that Jenny had suggested as just the person we need. Now, she was contacted to work on the project. The project reflected very seriously on the experience of both uh, Jenny and Tick, uh, and our Swade website was tailored to set the needs of those living in West, and working in West Australia. And um, we've used it as a platform to be our reconnected program ever since. Now, ASCA uses Being There to deliver much of the video conferencing aspect of Swade as well as for the ASCA board meeting. The work of Swade was doing was slowly beginning to show results when we discovered that this funding was indeed a one-off. And um, at the end of the first year, there would be no additional funding for ASCA to continue building on our work. Now, with heavy hearts and concern for future funding, we needed to rethink. We hit the ground running. We had no intention of lessening the work we were going to do in West Australia. It had been a boost to ASCA in many ways. The funding for Western Australia has long ended, but our work continues in that state. And we've now spread to sway Northern Territory and sway New South Wales. Is there any stopping for Jenny and her team? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> now, ASCA's clubs were introduced to the Be Connected uh, program, and some have been most grateful for the funding and resources provided by the program. At one stage, one of our clubs Fraser Shaw's Retirement Village Computer Group was the top performer, the most registered learners from the Be Connected website. Beauty. The Be Connected program is growing and creating new opportunities, and uh, it seeks ways to encourage older Australians to shape off in decision and grasp the opportunities provided by technology. Oh, their Team West Australia. Just to reiterate a few things that Nan has said, in January 2008, seems to this with age ago, 18, sorry. <laughs> 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 age ago, yes, I became the spearhead to do the Seniors West Australian Digital Expansion Project. And in contacting and contracting former colleague, <coughs> Mateka Hawes Wright, 
Together we engage CRCs and neighbourhood centres in Western Australia to deliver the Be Connected program to seniors throughout the state. Together we successfully met all the required outcomes under the keen eyes of Nan and Jim. <laughs> Our major partner, Link West, has this year contracted Natika <coughs> to further deliver Be Connected throughout regional WA. Swade continues to be active in providing support for existing clubs and spreading the word throughout a number of networks and organisations, the benefits of becoming ASCA affiliated clubs. TEAK has become a, a great conduit to ASCA um, in advocating in this area. Then in 2009, the Swade WA concept was further extended by a similar delivery into Northern Territory, and so Swade and Team was established. Once again, the dynamic duo of Natalia and I <laughs> formulated a plan, partly delivered remotely, and Be Connected Network Partners have been established throughout a number of community organisations, with learners being engaged to acquire the basic skills of digital technology in order to keep pace with today's lifestyle, no matter where. A road trip by the Three Musketeers here, <laughs> where we travelled to Darwin and Alice Springs in March this year, in order to meet face-to-face -face organisations we had partnered with. There's nothing quite like face-to-face. -face. Since then, various workshops have been delivered into those organisations through the fully hosted video conferencing system of our partners being there. In May, Tech attended the Northern Territory Seniors Expo on behalf of ASCA, where she shared a store with Be Connected and was able to speak with many people who were potential learners in the program. I have delivered a workshop via video conferencing into Alice Springs Public Library on digital legacies, where about a dozen people attended. Since October, we have engaged our newest ASCA volunteer, Ursula Lyons, who has been our feet on the ground in Darwin, supporting the Greenfields Independent Living Centres in Tiwi and Durack. We have recently adopted other network partners and are busy getting them under our wing, and some of the groups, like the Darwin Men's Shed, have become ASCA members. Northern Territory has been a tough gig, and only now, so late in the year, are many of the groups we've been working with realising the benefits of becoming active network partners. Swade NT is scheduled to be completed by the end of this year. There is huge potential for Be Connected to be continued next year, building on the firm basis we have formed. In mid-2019, source the Swade New South Wales project developed, whereby several personnel from ASCA's Sydney headquarters became lead digital mentors. Driving forces to deliver digital mentoring workshops to enable more organisations to have mentors trained from within their own ranks, who will be on hand regularly to support those organisations' learners. The launch of the Swade New South Wales was made at the ASCA Members Forum held in Sydney on Wednesday 25th of September, where around 30 people attended, um, and the launch was via video conferencing, so that spanned Australia as well. It was a good sort of insight for the people present to see how video conferencing works sort of in a live situation. A new partnership has been formed with Square One Skills, a group of students from various faculties at Sydney University who have been trained as digital mentors and are already going out into the field providing one-on-one -on -one training into aged care facilities. While a few serious drawbacks occurred in the early days, steps are now in hand to cement the plan going forward to achieve the committed outcomes. Thank you. It's been a tough nut to crack in the territory for us for the Swade project um, in the NT. It's taken time to build those relationships with existing network partners and potential new network partners. As, Nan, as Jen said, sorry, we did go on a road trip in March, so it's not the friendliest time of year to be in the Territory. <laughs> and the build down, so it's pretty sticky and uncomfortable up there, isn't it? It's <coughs> um, season. That's right. Um, so, but we did manage to make a few good connections in Darwin and Alice while we were there. So, 
we have, I have focused a lot of this year on uh, building those relationships via our video conferencing. Jen, as she said, has ported herself off to Alice Springs to deliver what I like to call getting your digital ducks in a row before you drop dead workshop. So Jen went into the library and spoke to a number of people in regards to that. Um, then we found ourselves in need of accessing a whole bunch of other network partners that we didn't have existing relationships with. So that's where Ursula came on the scene and saved our bacon and helped a couple of our new network partners with the Get Online Week events. And she went into those um, lifestyle villages and helped our learners there. Building on what we'd done in Western Australia, Jen and I attended the Link West Conference, who I also work for under the Be Connected banner. And part of my role with Link West is advocating for ASCA membership. And I have tried to get some numbers off Jen. I think we've managed to sign up about seven new ASCA clubs in WA as a result of the work we started last year and what I'm building on for Link West this year. So this is, these are two, the two key players for the Rostrata or Williton Tech for 50 plus club. And they were a, a nominee and a, um, what's the word Jen? I was selected the award for um, partnership, partnership award, award. Mm -hmm. that's right. Mm -hmm. So they were very sad that they didn't win, but it was a very, very competitive field, but they are so grateful for all the support that ASCA and um, Be Connected have given them to get their group. They thought they might get 30 learners in their first session, they got 70. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone through and they're about to do their second intake. So that's been a fantastic result for ASCA um, from last year's work. <coughs> Um, I've managed to give a few one-on-one -on -one video sessions to organisations like the Catherine Library um, and a whole bunch of other groups in the Territory. We'll flip through a few of those. Jen and I were invited as part of the Link West and Get, Get Online Week activities to the St Ives North Shore Lifestyle Village north of Perth and we're hopeful that they're going to be our next ASCA club in Perth as a result of um, them being network partners. So this is Jen in, um, this isn't in order, this is all just everywhere. Um, we, we have been enjoying the challenge that the Northern Territory has posed. We have, we believe we've built some pretty good relationships uh, and we're very, very hopeful that moving forward there'll be some more funding available to ASCA to build on that, to focus on the training of digital mentors in the Northern Territory. We've just managed to engage the region the East Arnhem Regional Council and they've put in for um, five lots of activation and community engagement grants for five libraries in the East Arnhem area. So that's that's going to be a great outcome for us if we can get hold of that one. Uh, this is Nan at the Alice Springs Library. And I went and spoke with learners. I've popped in and out of Darwin a few times this year on incidental um, trips. So that was the African Community Council members learning. Uh, now and again, popping into the City of Darwin libraries. Uh, we're working, trying to get some traction with Rotary Club slash Men's Shed slash um, Catherine Computer Club. This fellow wears many, many hats in his community, so. <laughs> uh, so I'm hoping to get some more. There's some more of Ursula's learners from the Greenfields. Lifestyle Village in Darwin and uh, at the Seniors <laughs> Expo. So um, I, I was fortunate enough to attend the Seniors Expo in the NT with the Be Connected and as Jen mentioned I managed to speak to a number of learners there. Uh, Ursula has also been giving a genealogy session. So we're excited. I think we've managed to sign up 257 learners or support organisations to sign up 257 learners in the Territory this year. Uh, five new ASCA clubs in the Northern Territory. Yes. There was zero. There was zero at the end of last year, so we're pretty happy about that. So, and I've just finished training 54 digital mentors throughout regional and remote Western Australia. And uh, ASCA brochures were on every single table and went into every single pack. So I'm hoping that there'll be more ASCA uh, club applications from CRCs, neighbourhood centres and men's sheds in Western Australia. And I think that that might be about <coughs> oh, that's the Rotary Club of Cambridge that Jen and I spoke at 
uh, and get online week, and that was it. Good um, As Brittany knows, I'm Jess from Good Things Foundation, and we're responsible for delivering the Be Connected program. But as you've heard from the fantastic um, presenters just before me from ASCA, um, this is not something that we do on our own. This is a partnership between us and many, many organisations all over the country to support older Australians to, to build their digital skills and particularly their confidence in, in, in engaging the digital world. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Good Things Foundation. We're a, an organisation, a, so, a charity who's focused on improving people's lives through digital technology. Um, we know that there's a really strong connection between digital inclusion and social inclusion and so that's, that's really our focus. We have um, been looking at supporting at least 3 million people by 2020 um, to improve their lives through digital and I can tell you that we've actually just met that target so we're very excited to have done that a little bit early and that's clearly with our colleagues in the UK. We've been in the UK for about 12 years and in Australia for just over two. But I was saying to Nan this morning, this is actually my third ASCA conference so I'm very thrilled to be here to be kind of talking a bit about the work we've done together over the last uh, couple of years. So for, for Good Things Foundation, we're about making sure that people are digitally able and safe so and equal so that they can be happier, healthier and better off. So this is the outcomes that we're looking for. And if any of you were listening to David just before talking about Australian Digital Inclusion Alliance, it's not just about the skills, it's actually about what people do with them once they've got those skills that we're really interested in. Um, and as we've heard from all of the fantastic pictures of places in the, in the um, in the Western Australia and the Northern Territory, we're all about working with people at the heart of their community. So um, we know that community organisations know their communities best. And so we're in interested in how we can help build capacity in them to deliver the social impact they want to have even better. Um, David's already talked about this, and so this is just a bit of a picture of digital inclusion in Australia. We've got a long way to go, is really the, is really the message. Um, from getting, you know, 10% of our population who are completely offline to those kind of four million people who are have limited skills um, to get everybody online to be <coughs> that has the benefit from um, digital inclusion. And so clearly, be connected is one of those one of the parts of that um, that program. So can I just have a show of hands? Who knows about be connected already? Most people in the room. So I don't need to tell you the details really of what it's about. Australian federal government funding. It's a program running from 2017 to 2020, so that's just about eight months away, June 2020. So we're very hopeful that we're going to get some news reasonably soon about the, the um, continuation of the program. Um, but uh, it is definitely delivered in partnership, um, and that's at the high level as well. So Good Things Foundation works in partnership with the Office of the Youth Safety Commissioner and with the Department of Social Services to deliver it. And the Be Connected Youth Safety site is there as well. Um, the model from our perspective is a network, so a network of community organisations that we've talked a bit about, the fantastic online resources that are developed by the Be Connected East, by the Office of the Youth Safety Commissioner, and then $20 million in small grants over that period of time to help those organisations be able to deliver those programs. So we're pretty pleased that in two years we've managed to build a network of over 2,700 organisations across the country. Um, and from that, 250,000 people have been engaged to um, build their digital skills. And that's all across the country. So we're pretty excited about that impact and the scale that we've been able to create. But there is still so much more to do. Um, this is a bit about the, the network partners that we have. So we certainly have computer clubs as part of our uh, network. And there are about 80 computer clubs that we have in, in the network. But I think one of the things that's really been a learning for us is that we've been wanting to make sure that anywhere people feel comfortable in the country, um, that they have a place that they can learn digital skills. Because we all know that if you feel comfortable and you feel supported, then you're more likely to learn something. And so we have libraries, community centres, men's sheds, country women's associations, RSL clubs, aged care facilities, you name it, we've got one of them in our network which is fantastic. And they are literally all over the country. And we're very pleased to say there's actually now a new network partner on the Cocos Islands <laughs> as of yesterday. So we're like, that's all the way up here somewhere. So we're, we're very excited to, um, to have people in very remote parts of our country as well. But it is in Australia, and it does it have a West Australia, Australia postcode. It does. <laughs> it does, Jenny. I want to see that dot as well. Yes, I'm very excited about that. Um, 
We had to check, and in fact, the department so had to get nice. legal advice about whether they were allowed to access government funding because they are a tiny mm. Anyway, but they can and they are, so that's really mm. exciting. Um, this is just a few pictures of some of the network partners that we have um, across the country. So, Computer Pals from um, Newcastle, who are definitely here today, I saw them. Uh, one of our fantastic network partners um, doing amazing work up in Newcastle. It's a community centre. I love this picture because it's actually about people using technology to do something that they love to do anyway. It's about mm. artistic expression. Um, Walt Jo is in, in the middle of um, in the middle of the Northern Territory, about 246 k's from 240 k's from um, Alice Springs. This this picture was taken at near Papunya. Um, and then Lady One Menchet also was one of our biggest critics to start with. They're like, who are these Good Things <laughs> Foundation? We don't know who they are. This might be a scam. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, he, he replied, replied to the email copying us in to that email when he said it was a scam. So we were able to respond to, to lovely Laurie and say, actually, we're not a scam. How about we have a chat to you? Um, and they are now one of, they've become a capacity builder for us and have, um, they're one of our highest performers, have over 500 learners that are supported oh, in that time. So, so um, fantastic to have people that were a bit reluctant to start with but actually have developed um, and, and seen the benefit of doing this in Victoria. It is in Victoria. Yeah. 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 So this is the grants program. Who has heard me talk about grants before? Who's heard Tick talk about grants? Anyone? Right, yes, great. So we have grants available. We have four grant rounds open at the moment. So if you are looking for funding to support your club, then you really need to speak to the team out in the B-Connect and the Good Things Foundation stall out there because we can help you to look at the best grant that's going to be available for you. There are five different types of grants that we've got for part of the B-Connected program. Um, we've got these four, no, one, two, three. And digital health, that's the one that's going on. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and it is likely that we will have another capacity builder grant, but we will, um, please watch this space. Um, it is likely to happen. The learning portal is fantastic. Who's used the, the, the learning right. portal? Anybody? Fabulous. Yeah, yeah. You, you like it, Sandra. Yeah. What do you like most about it? I like the fact that it covers such a range. You can yeah. get the very beginner to come in, yeah. and then you know those people that are, think that they know everything find yeah. out that they there's lots of things that they missed on the way. Yes. And they pick up all, all sorts of things. Tips. In fact, that happened to one of our team in Get On Mind Week. He was at a session. This woman came in thinking it was about her Apple Watch. Like she wanted to find out about her Apple Watch and she was about to leave. <coughs> and she just stay. And at the end of the session she said, I learned so much yeah. that I didn't think I that, that I didn't know. Yeah, so I think that's definitely the case. With 16 topics, 96 courses, 236 activities, there's a lot of work, a lot of things there for people to explore and opportunities to be able to pick mix and match to things that people actually do really want to learn. There's more to come, of course. But really, I mean, the interesting thing about this for us in the last two years, what is a computer is still the number one course on that on that website. It's still number one. It hasn't shifted in that whole two years. Now it is the first course on there, so you know that could be one of the reasons. But actually, um, you know, these other ones have changed. That one has not changed. So this really is focused on supporting people who are at that very start, who really want to And you can them. actually um, capture capture people. Not just opening it, but moving through it, finishing it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, because yeah. it was just the first one, and they weren't interested. They'd go and come out. That's right. Yeah. So we do track all of those. Um, the satisfaction rate on the B Connected Learning Portal is 92 percent. So that, so people really do see that it's useful, useful for them. Um, and we've got new new courses coming on MyGov and banking. Um, but <laughs> really, yes, I know. I know. I know. Um, we have been talking to our colleagues at eSafety about the importance of MyGov and banking. Quite some time, um, but I believe they are looking at developing them right now. And so, if you're interested in being involved in the development of what they look like, um, we're working with eSafety to make sure that they're co designed with people that are actually going to use them. So, so, please get in contact with our team so that we can um, do that. Um, we've also, hi, team, <laughs> different pictures, same day. <laughs> Lots of practice. I think Cass took that one. Cass is at the back here. 
I'm doing the same thing again. as well. Um, so we also, one of the parts of Be Connected when we first started was a big promotional campaign which was supposed to tell everybody that it was really important that they get online. Unfortunately, for a whole lot of reasons that are beyond flight control and understanding, they didn't actually that didn't actually happen. Um, and so we at Good Things have been um, have been trying to do as much as we can to promote the Be Connected program through a whole range of different both. So we've been to lots of seniors' events um, to talk to lots of people. One of them being in Darwin, which is the one we've got here. Um, Gold Coast, Brisbane. We've got a team in Perth right now. Um, so just trying to talk to people as many um, older Australians as we can about the importance of that and linking them to a local network partner near them where they can get some extra support. Um, and there's also a whole lot of um, uh, webinars and um, editable flyers and posters that the team of good things have been um, developing to help people to promote that program. But watch this space, there may be more coming. Um, I suppose we wanted to, the evidence is really important to the Things Foundation to be able to prove what is actually happening and whether we're having an impact. Um, and this is a this is one of the um, a survey that's on the um, Be Connected learning site um, that learners can put do do when it's a progression survey. So they have a baseline and a progression survey. So from that, 53% have increased their digital skills. 86% are more confident using the internet. 87% this is the one we're really happy with, are really happy with the support they've had from their network partner because that's the bit that's really important to us. And 47% have increased their social connection. Now this one is the one that's really <coughs> fantastic because I think you know what we know is it's not just about technology, it's about people actually. And lots of the feedback we're getting from our network around the country is that actually it's about the connections people make with other people in their community that they didn't have before. It's about the fact that it gets people out of the house and that they come and they learn something new, but they also have a cup of tea with someone that they then see down the street. That's the important piece um, that, that actually really supports people um, to be more connected in their community. So from the last couple of years, I suppose our, our learnings is that 75% of the network had not delivered digital skills before. So this is this is not the organisations like you guys who have been doing this for experts at this, right? This is not, these are not um, all about you. These are people that have no idea how to be a digital mentor, have no idea how to teach technology. So that means that it's taken quite some time to get people up and running. And Dick and Jenny know this and they have talked about how what a hard slog it's been in NT. Um, that actually takes, you know, at least 100 days from when we first contacted someone to when they actually sign up and learn for the first time. So, so that's quite a long time in a two-year two year project so far. So I think, um, so that's been a really big challenge. Distance clearly is, is an issue in Australia. It's one of the things that we are challenged by as a small team based in Sydney supporting a national network. But the way that we've overcome that is through building partnerships with organisations like ASCA who have those connections on the ground and who use the fantastic um, technology um, to be able to link in from Walpole to Alt Springs Library to do a fantastic, uh, what was it? Digital legacies. <laughs> Digital legacies before you... No, that ducks thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's right. Um, so I think that's that's one of the things that has been fantastic is, is really we have to be creative about how we use technology to be able to teach people to use technology. Now that's a challenge, but I think um, the one that, that you guys have done really well. Um, the other thing for us is that you know our network are really different, and and we don't expect people to deliver things in exactly the same way because we know that it's really important that this is flexible. But that does create challenges as well. It's, it's really important and it's really fantastic, but it also has challenges in terms of saying, well, we've supported this number of people to do exactly this, this, and this, which is what often funders want <coughs> us to do. We can't do that. Um, so, and, and so I think that's that's um, that's one of the challenges for us. But also, social inclusion as a positive. Thank you very much. Um, is um, is a key outcome of this program. It's not just about learning digital skills. It's about social connection. So that's been um, that's really important. We've worked with lots of partners. This is something that a few of you have been part of, um, and this is the Digital Mentoring Practice and Program Forum that we co-facilitated with Australia Post, and Australia Post were here last year, and I think Jess is here tomorrow talking a bit about this work, which is fantastic. Um, I think that's the key thing for us, is that you know there are lots of people working in this space, and we need to be working together to make sure that we're 
benefiting the tour. What are you, who are you seeing up there? Man, right up the back there. Man. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's quite a few of us in that picture. So it's, a good, it's a good day. Um, and then I think, you know, this is a picture of us in Canberra a few weeks ago at Nan, where we, um, because we then had a, a digital mentor as the heart of the digital revolution that we delivered in partnership um, with Leap and Richard Seniors Online and ASCA. Um, and then Stephen, <coughs> Anthony McCosker and Chris Wilson and uh, Roxalana Shukuweska, um, she, um, they, they pulled together a fantastic report from that, saying this is what we really need in terms of digital mentoring um, in Australia. So um, fantastic again to be working together on that. Um, we've also been working on a small project with National Australia Bank, um, and that's because they're very interested in digital education as well. Yes, some of them is because because they want to make sure that people are able to use their online apps. But mostly, actually, the message from them is that they know that digital inclusion is important to the people in their communities, and they see that all the time. So we've we've had a small pilot um, in a couple of different locations in uh, New South Wales to look at referral processes between the branch staff and then through to um, our, our network partners actually really fantastic because we did some training with the branch staff first to talk that about the bank branch yeah so to talk about what digital inclusion is and why it might be important and one of the things that we had in terms of feedback from that was how fantastic they thought it was that they could actually do something to support the people in their community to help them get digital mm -hmm. so they found out about this they developed a fantastic relationship with um, the tech exec down in the Naruma um, who delivers programs for us down there um, and, uh, and were uh, able to provide a couple of referrals down there um, to support them. So um, we're hoping to expand that. We're looking at what that might look like. Um, again, it's a watch this space. Potentially early next year we'll be able to talk about that. Get online week. Anybody participate in Get Online Week? Yes! yes. Um, this, it was fantastic. It was our second one this year. We had two um, sponsors, NBN and NAB, which meant that we could actually give people some resources to be able to use this year, which was, which was great. And we've got some of them out on the table um, out there. So um, we had over a thousand organisations participate and get online week this year, which was just fantastic. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me go back. Let me go back. I want to show you the pictures. That's uh, just some of the Get Online Week events. I mean, cake, we're at most of them. <laughs> cake or barbecues. Uh, we have quite a few barbecues. We had a few pop-up stalls. We had dumpling making. So we're looking at dumplings, um, and dumplings and digital, that one was. So um, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> dumplings and digital. So that was a, a fantastic, um, fantastic to have um, Get Online Week as a way of raising awareness about digital inclusion in Australia, but also about um, making sure that community organisations can talk to their community about getting involved in digital in a really fun way. And the last one that I just wanted to highlight is that we've been working um, on a pilot with the Australian Digital Health Agency. So those of you who heard about the digital health, uh, the heard the digital health speak, speech this morning from um, Eric, um, we are working with the Australian Digital Health Agency as well to support organisations to be able to help people engage with their health record. Um, and digital health tools more generally. So we're piloting that at the moment in uh, Sydney and in Ballarat. Um, that pilot kind of ends in December. And right now, we have grants available for organisations that might like to participate in that digital health project. So basically, we will train people to become digital health mentors. You then um, engage people um, in that digital health uh, program and understanding what that might mean. I know I'm very, very nearly done. This is my last slide. So if anybody's interested, if you think people in your in your community might be interested to learn more about my health record or to learn how to better manage your health using digital tools, then please have a look on the Be Connected Network site because there's information about that there. Or chat again, chat to the team now, um, outside. That's me. Done. <laughs>